Wait a second. Am I eating chicken burger? Or am I eating sushi? Okay. This is different. Hi lovely people. The theme of today's video is burger. I'm gonna make three different burgers, delicious burgers from three different countries. This time I chose these specific burgers because they are special. They look special and I'm not gonna reveal anymore. Let's check them out. This recipe is from Japan and it's called a rice burger. The rice burger was created in 1987 by the Japanese fast food chain MOS Burger. The MOS Burger fast food restaurant chain introduced the rice burger in 1987 and it has become a popular food item in East Asia. Beginning around 2005, McDonald's also offered the rice burger in some of its Asian stores with mixed results. Japan is not shy when it comes to experimenting with flavor. It's not surprising then when they transform rice into a burger bun. A rice burger is a variation on the traditional hamburger with compressed rice cakes substituted for the hamburger buns. The patties are pan fried or grilled in order to create a firm shell which holds the rest of the ingredients together. The filling, however, does not necessarily correlate to the one of the traditional hamburger and can consist of a variety of authentic and local ingredients and dishes. Boom! Done! A rice burger from Japan. Look how beautiful this is. This is art. Combination of beautiful colors. Without doubt, the most interesting thing about this burger is the rice bun. A complete different experience when we talk burger. I have no idea how to eat this. I think I'm gonna start from the top. Look at this beautiful color of the sesame oil and the soy sauce. What also make it special is the, the nori, the, 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 the seaweed, which is very interesting. Let's find out how it tastes. Mm. Oh my god, you need to taste this. That was a big bite. She just ate my whole nori. Mm. Wait a second. Am I eating chicken burger? Or am I eating sushi? It tastes like sushi. A sushi chicken burger. Let's dig in for the rest. Oh my god, that was a huge bite. Mm. This is incredible. I love the combination of uh, the rice and the, the tenderness of the chicken and the sauce that I put on top of the chicken. They go very, very good, uh, hands in hands together. Amazing. Mm. So you have the, the crispiness of the, the rice bun and the sweet and savory of the soy sauce and this, this sesame oil. It's, it's wonderful. It's a complete different experience, burger experience. I've never had something similar. I have never had something like that. This is tremendous. I just keep loving it for every bite I take. It's amazing. A new way of trying a chicken burger. It's a different experience. I, I am surprised once again. I am really, really surprised about the taste and about replacing the normal burger bun with the, with the rice bun. This is for sure highly recommendable. Chicken burger with rice bun. Go for it. This recipe is from Mexico and it's called a Mexican burger. These Mexican burgers take just two minutes to throw together and are loaded with all your favorite flavors. It is a beautiful upgrade from the boring ground beef burger you are usually throwing on the grill. It is also topped with only the most yummy and fresh topping. Cheese, homemade guacamole and cilantro. In a bowl, mix all burger ingredients together. Form into equal patties, then cook the patties on a fry pan or a grill for 5-7 to seven minutes each side or until done. About one minute before done, place cheese on each patty and buns on the grill to toast. Remove from the pan when cheese is melted and buns are toasted. Buenos dias. Ah, don't worry, we're gonna speak in English. Mexican burger it is. Look at this. Look at the beautiful guacamole. And I made it myself. You don't believe me? Ask my wife. Basically, I'm eating patty. <laughs> 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 
So basically, I am eating a burger with guacamole, which is first time. Looking interesting. I like the beautiful colors, um, which makes it very interesting. It smells good. Look at the patty, how juicy it is. Mm, okay, this is different. The flavor is definitely in the meat. Every bite is savory and delicious. It almost tastes like a um, grilled burger. And the guacamole gives it an extraordinary uh, kick and flavor um, because of the, the tomatoes, the, the, the garlic, the, the onions. The patty is very, very juicy. Let's have some more guacamole on it. Mm. Everybody is a party. Everyone loves a good burger, but this Mexican burger is a great burger. This Mexican burger has everything that you will love from a Mexican dish. It's juicy, it's smoky, it's spicy, and it tastes good. Mm. Adios. This recipe is from Greece and it's called a Mediterranean Greek burger. In my house, we love lamb and feta cheese, reason why I went for this burger. Today's Greek creation is a take on something homey and familiar, burgers. This lamb burger recipe is something almost anyone can make, but the flavorful Greek twist takes it to another level of addictive. Obviously, the base of the Greek lamb burger here is the lamb, but you can also use a combination of lamb and beef. Split the meat into equal portions and shape each piece into a patty. Place the patties on a fry pan and flip each patty and cook until the patties are firm to the touch. To serve the burgers, spread about one tablespoon of mayonnaise on each top and bottom bun. Divide cucumber and top with a patty. Then garnish each with arugula and feta. Top with a bun and serve immediately. All right, Greek style burger with feta cheese and a lot of herbs. It was very simple to make, very basic burger. It took me under 20 minutes and it looks and smells delicious. This is the right way to eat a burger with your hands. No fork, no knife, just dig it. Mmm, very juicy. The, the lamb patty is so spicy. You really notice at the first bite all the spices and herbs uh, that I put in there. It has a rich, uh, aromatic taste, spicy, flavorful, and the patty is very, very juicy. This is really reminding me of summertime when doing barbecue. It could be a fantastic summer burger. And what makes this burger like typical Greek is, is the feta cheese, which gives it this wonderful saltiness. The cumin, the coriander seeds are typical in the Greek uh, kitchen. Afkaristo. It's been really special making this episode, especially the process of making the burgers. It was out of the norm, especially uh, with a rice burger. I never made rice burger. It was funny and it, it was really an eye-opener for how much you can experiment with burger and in general with food. Uh, I really liked all three burgers, especially the, the rice bun burger. It was very special. I liked all three of them. They tasted very good. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching. See you next week. And please don't forget to subscribe, uh, share and like. Have a good one.